Let's talk about Admech and the, how everyone loves that faction and how it doesn't matter what you do, they will always find another way to be dickheads. <laughs> so I love this because you and I, I think, have different opinions on what we're about to talk about, but I will let you take the floor. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about the Gibraltar GT, which has just happened. Mm -hmm. So they just run a... How many players? 60 player event? 60, it was meant to be 104. It became 64. Okay. Okay. So 64 man event. One of the mm. largest events happening in this side of the world currently, because most of yeah. the time, until today, you couldn't, uh, out in the yeah. UK especially. Admec haven't been properly FAQ'd yet. Admec are a big issue right now. <laughs> um, We've had an official FAQ. Don't know what we're talking about. Let's talk about the list that won. It was won by Manny Chima from Glasshammer. Yeah. Um, yeah absolutely fantastic player uh another problematic organizer but a <laughs> great player nonetheless let's take a look at his list it was a little bit ridiculous i'm calling it the ranger carpet so here it is a, on screen adequate title um we're but we're both gonna have to move ever so slightly to the to my left probably your left as well there we go beautiful might be over here now, now that way the other way the other way the other way go go go, go where go. went first the other way that way there we okay. go <laughs> so so this is the list that he took to Twisted Onslaught, which is an event run by Twisted mm -hmm. Dice. An oh. RTT, right? Yes, it was a three-round RTT, like 20 players, mm -hmm. something like that. Small event. Uh, he posted about it, he made a video about it. It's called Roster Review Manny's Winning Adeptus Mechanicus yeah. List. This is where I've taken the screen grab from. So if you are interested in hearing the man himself talk about it, I'm going to give you a footnotes version of the list. Uh, but if you want to hear him, then you can go watch that video too. Um Enter Skitar, for fuck's sake. I've been waiting to make that joke all <laughs> fucking weekend, and knowing I was going to have this show today, and you in the chat just fucking free balls it in there. Rip. <laughs> the gist of this list is that it is a hell of a lot of bodies with yes. some very devastating shooting. Yes. But also, it is a horde army which is resilient to horde weapons, anti-horde weapons. Yeah which is yeah. fun it's fun for everyone involved tell so, me about this resilience so, is that not the list he ran did he change it rip okay well that that is awkward even if there's a uh a difference it's not a massive difference um in the way that the list itself runs so, which no. is really what i think is is the gist of what you wanted to talk about so that's the minutiae of the list itself essentially the list is still a lot of bodies a lot of infantry bodies and lucius is is where that comes into play and this is the uh the durability of admic their dogma which is like their chapter tactic is called solar blessing each time an attack with a damage characteristic of one is allocated to a model with this dogma and one to any armor saving throw made against that attack most anti-infantry weapons, so the things that you would use to chew through a unit of 20 Vanguard or Rangers, for instance, have a damage characteristic of one. So think to things that you've you've seen that do that very well, like large blobs of things with flamers, like flamer aggressors, bolt storm aggressors, they're quite good as well. Through infantry, I've got a load of terminators in parts here, lightning claws, damage one, right? Great. Suddenly, because that damage characteristic is one, these guys get plus one to their save. So they go from having a mediocre save to a decent save before then armor penetration is applied to it. And I'm reasonably sure there's a way that they can ignore uh, some of their, mm -hmm. uh, some of the AP as well. Yeah. So I've got the new list. Here we go. Next. Uh, it's not quite as pretty as I had it before, which is a shame. Uh, but this one is just Lucius. So it's there two detachments. Go. It is very much a ranger carpet with some Vanguard as well. Mm -hmm. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 rangers. And then 40 uh, Vanguards as well. All Lucius, as I said. We've got a whole bunch of raiders, which are also very good. Um, but they, yeah. they are now Lucius rather than Mars. So the benefit of having them as Mars was that you could use Wrath of Mars on them. Uh, and they get mm -hmm. a bunch of shots and can target characters. But now he doesn't have that. So... Yeah. So the list is as, really 140 troops. It's 140 so 100 troops. rangers and 40. And, yeah, 100 rangers, 40 vanguard, and then uh, 21 dogs. Three units of seven. Nice. So essentially... Oh, plus seven. some jazz hands priests. Yeah. So the Lu Lucius gives you solar blessing, which is a plus one save, but it also yeah. gives you extra range on your weapons. It gives you plus three, right? Yeah, plus three range. Yeah. Yeah. 
which is really useful good. because some of their weapons have got like a shorter range, like 18 inch range. So it only brings it up to 21, which makes it a lot more relevant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the Manipulus has a, a Logi called the Holy Order Logi, which allows it to choose a unit to get it to ignore AP1 and AP2. So this is mm -hmm. one, it's like a, it's called, uh, it's the Logi. So it's on this one in the middle here. So uh, I believe it's that one. But also it has a Waller trait called Luminescent Blessing, which allows you to choose a yeah. unit in the command phase to also... Yeah, within nine. Within nine, where you can't wound it on better than a four plus, essentially transhuman, mm -hmm. but use it in your command phase. Yeah. So what this list then does is that it has a whole bunch of infantry which get plus one save against the anti-infantry guns, and then some of it is ignoring AP one or two. So That's then you're right. see, so oh, they're getting like a three up save against everything. It's mad. It's it absolutely is, mad. It is mad. Yeah. It's, it's so. very durable. Like normally yeah. when you see a carpet list, it's it's usually something like 300 Tormagons with some Hormagons to help tie things up. And your turns actually don't take very long because you don't bother shooting. You just move no, you a just lot run. and do some charges and you have to do some combat because you have to. Mm -hmm. But you just sort of spread out, take the ball, you're right, there you go. You can kill me for a bit and then I'll, I'll move some casualties around. But mm -hmm. in a tyranny list, you don't take leadership. It's not really an issue. Uh, under the new leadership rules, you don't really take a humongous hit from it. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that list, like I said, doesn't really do a lot of damage. It just exists. But this list does do a significant amount of damage thanks yeah. to a one command point stratagem. Basically, you choose one of your units of Skitari. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're not targeting a vehicle, I forgot what it's called. Uh, but basically, every roll of four plus to hit does a wound. Yeah, I believe that's wound, Vanguard just, only. That's a wound. I believe oh, that's Vanguard, Vanguard with the Vadium Carbines. Um, Could be. I'm trying to remember the name of the strength. I know where it is in the um, codex. I just wish they'd stop putting the Crusade rules halfway through. Yeah, mm. yeah exactly. So, no one cares. <laughs> what it also has, while Jay looks for Enriched that. Enriched Rounds. Enriched Rounds, that's is... it. Adeptus Mechanicus unit from your army. To the oh. end of the phase, each time model in that unit makes attack with a radium weapon. So yeah. any of the radium weapons. Which is the value. Uh, enemy unit, I'm going to roll a four plus automatically wounds the target. Mm -hmm. But one command point. One so CP. you can delete a lot. And because you target it on your unit, not mm -hmm. on an enemy unit, if you've got, say, a, a large unit that fires a gargantuan amount of shots, you can split fire with with that and do quite a significant sum of damage, which normally yeah. these massive carpet lists don't have an option for. Mm. Exactly. So there's forty of them that can do that, which yeah. ignore, well, get a plus one save against one damage yeah. weapons, which is good for killing them. Uh, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. He's also got the three units of seven Serious Raiders. These can obviously target characters. But they're also mm -hmm. bloody fast, and if you try and charge them for one CP, they quick. can run away from you. He yeah. did win or the block event. your charge as well. You know, yeah. if, if you block your charge. Here's, here's a weird thing: if you declare a charge against two units, mm -hmm. one of them being the Cerberus Raiders, smart, and then the Cerberus Raiders move up to you and stand in front of you and block you from getting that other unit, because you can't make both charges anymore. Mm. You don't make any charges, so you're just entirely. Blue balled for that charge Smart. phase for that unit. That's you gotta be very careful with it. Yeah. And they get to overwatch you. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so he's also got the Soul of Flare, which is a relic, which is essentially like the Veil of Darkness for Necrons. Choose a unit and yes. the bearer, pick them up, put them back down, which is, sounds yeah. fine. Cool redeploy. What it also lets him do is if he does get stuck in combat, for example, against uh, mm -hmm. Witches with the Shard Net, just where you have to roll yeah. off. Uh, the shard net gives you plus one. You both roll off. If you fail, you can't fall out. The solar flare just lets you redeploy. You don't. You're never falling out. So it completely just like mitigates that issue. You just you just move. You you aren't falling back. So it allows you to shoot as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, I've got a could... feeling that his warlord trait, prone retreat, uh, allows him to do something similar to that. Mm, the uh, you able to shoot in the turn in which it fell back. Yeah, so you yeah. fall back and shoot, program retreat. So that's two ways he's got of getting his units out of combat. That's and this one, is obviously yeah. a shooty army, so mm. very, very good thing to, to do. Also, having the marshals is great because obviously that's reroll ones for wounds yeah. on 
Not everything. that you roll wounds very much <laughs> when no, you're using that well, ridiculous strat. For the other round. seven units that you have yeah. rolling a bucket of dice each unit, you, you do. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is a, a very, very definitely... Uh, Mikey, I think you're absolutely right when you say this is an oppressive list. Mm-hmm. Um, because there is very little counter to this list. There is a little bit of, of outplaying if you're playing the same army list then turn matters, terrain matters, skill matters, all these things. Um, but one of the things that Manny does, I know this, is he'll take While We Stand We Fight, or whatever it's called now, to the last. I'm yeah, to the last. Uh, on a couple of units of um, his his infantry. And he'll keep them off the board until turn three, where he's got to bring them in. Then you've got two turns with a much reduced army to somehow chew through 40 Admech infantry. Yep. that are probably going to be hiding in a corner if he doesn't need them anywhere else on the board, so you can't interact with them. Um, or they're going to be right next to the manipulus. So they can go, look, you guys have got transhuman this time. Uh, or they're going to be sat there going, we ignore AP2 because you've got AP2 weapons over there. And we've got a two-up save because we get plus one to our saving throw due to the fact we're Lucius. Mm-hmm. All of these things all stack in it. It's mad. So you think it's oppressive, and I agree. I, th- I think that a list that is this powerful within the meta... To me, this is one of those lists that only lose if you're a bad player with it, mm-hmm. uh, much like the Brohammer list with the uh, Leviathan Dreadnought. Yeah. You know, only lost if you were not paying attention, if you were just... If you like silly mistakes happen. You know? you know? However, this is where mine and Mikey's opinions differ. I think this list is fucking amazing. It is, because it is funny. It's cool. Because... When 9th edition came out, mm-hmm. Games Workshop made a big fanfare over the fact they wanted to have units that were the core of your army. Yes. My Space Marines got like 3,000 <laughs> units for the core. <laughs> Necrons got five. Like, oh, hang on. Yeah. Um, this has got an entire army made out of core. It is, yeah. And is regular awesome. characters. No special characters. Nope. No, like, super expensive characters, like, uh, I, I don't know, I can't think of any that aren't special characters, but nothing you're paying hundreds of points for. Mm-hmm. Grandmaster Nemesis Dread Knight, you know, something like that. Yeah. Bad yeah. example, I know they're a bit poo, but whatever. <laughs> you don't have anything like that as these super nails characters that carry the list with a load of other stuff. You've got your basic dudes and their boss. Yeah. That's it. And I love it. I wish every codex in the game could play to a level where you can take this and demolish people at a tournament using your basic troops and a few characters. And I absolutely love that about this list. Yeah. The problem is, is that the counter of infantry, which usually mm-hmm. have anti-infantry guns, can't deal with this want. list. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's the problem. That's the problem. I love the theme, and I'm not accusing Manny of... Uh, in any way, shape, or form, thinking about the fluff when he wrote this list, because I <laughs> bet you he didn't. No. Uh, but I love the fact that it is one of the fluffiest lists I have ever seen. At yeah. Mech Horde, which is what they are, unnumbered. Well, in fact, they're they're all numbers. They are know? just numbers. Yeah. Just, just numbers. Just ones and zeros. You know. I think it's amazing. I love yeah. that. Is it's, it too it's... powerful? Fuck it, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's quite an interesting one because I think this is like showing the problem with admech through and through is that they have an abundance of rules that they can stack they have multiple ways they can do things for example like what we just said um you've got the uh skitaria marshal with program Mm. retreat which allows you to fall back one unit fall back and shoot they've got the solar flare which by itself sounds cool but ultimately it allows you to fall back and shoot yeah with a reader boy yeah, which is the problem. The problem. The the biggest counter to this list is to tie it in combat, and it has multiple yeah. ways to m- mitigate that. Now, if yeah. it was all offensive and had zero defense, you'd be like, fair enough. The old glass cannon that yeah. Admet used to be very much glass cannon. Yeah, but now they're not uh, really glass cannon because they are no. super defensive. They're hard to kill because your anti infantry yeah. of hordes is mit- fairly well mitigated. Vastly mitigated. The guns that do kill you it... ignore the low AP single damage weaponry because you get a two-up armor save on some of your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So like, It doesn't stack recover either, so you're in cover. Yeah. Two up, right? Yeah, so you can put stuff in cover, you got plus one save, so you know you got two up, you know, against the bolter, a normal bolter. Yeah. So, like, 
it is super defensive because mm -hmm. it, it does all of this. It ignores AP, gets plus one save, you know, and it can fall out, which is very, very uh, defensive. But it's super offensive yeah. as well. It has a ridiculous number of shots. It gets extra range. You have stratagem such as enriched rounds, which is only touching a one stratagem. God knows however know. many other, other stratagems there are. Command point. Um, it has that as well. It also has... Like, there's a Warlord trait on the Rangers, which I don't even know what it does. It's called Battle Sphere Uplink, and that's on the Ranger Alpha, you know? So that so even the Rangers have some abilities. He's spending 4 CP on extra abilities before the game starts, right? Yeah. Which is just showing that, like, this... We, the problem is, is when you have cool rules on a unit or an army, it's makes it work well but when you have more rules to stack on the army compared to other armies I don't know that is. that's that's useful it's uh heavy weapons once you in your command phase like one for you with nine uh and then you don't suffer penalty of hit rolls for firing heavy weapons if you, if you moved or if assault weapons until you advanced so especially for those guitar that want to advance to get in range of their assault weapons yeah to hit on fours unmodified they can now do that without taking the modifier for advancing. So that threat range of 21 inch for the weapon and six inch for the movement uh, puts you to 27. Sorry, it's very hot here. Yeah. Uh, giving you an almost 30 and a half inch average threat range for that mm. unit, which is mm -hmm. fucking mad. Someone in the chat says Battle Sphere Oblink lets you perform actions and shoot, if I remember correctly. Is that another wall? Not trait? what I've just read. It might be a different thing. It's probably, it's probably got um, it. Um, <laughs> it might have all of them all added into one. <laughs> But that's the thing, when there's so many rules stacked on top of each other, it makes the uh, army too um, too efficient. And that was the problem with like Drakari as well, but Admex seems mm -hmm. to have taken the biscuit with it. Yeah. Um, He's thinking of multitasking Cortex. Which, which the Skatari Marshal has. There you go. So the Skatari Marshal allows line, you to... You do an action and shoot, that's it. Right, okay. So one unit can advance and shoot with no penalty and then yeah. perform an action while still shooting. No, you can't perform an action whilst you've, uh, after you've advanced. Very so that'd true. be another unit. There'd have to be different units. Very true. Army, which is why this army isn't an instant win army. No. Like, you still have to know what's going on. And, and people, uh, when this book came out, there were a lot of people that write articles for the internet or do videos for the internet that absolutely lambasted this book with, my God, this book's too complicated. How could you possibly have written this book? Because it's too complicated and no one will ever understand it, which is obviously bollocks because given time, people will understand it. Mm. And Manny and other people that have written these really high functioning lists, uh, Malik took Admech to the event as well and did very well with those. He had six flyers, lost to Manny, which is no yeah, like, hardship. You know, we all do. You don't have enough guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he literally didn't have enough guns, even with the, the fusillade things, because it's heavy stubbers, which yeah. are anti-infantry weapons against the infantry swarm that it's not going to do any well against. About it yet. Fortunately, Gatling cannons are damaged too, so well, I can come <laughs> in for you. But you don't have enough, Jay. You don't have, I enough, do know. You don't have enough Gatling cannon. I do. But, <laughs> I really do. <laughs> but what this means is, is this list has a lot of ways to mitigate your offensiveness. Yeah. Not only is shooting, but also tricks, as in falling back yeah. and shoot, redeploy, etc. Yeah. You can also you have to actually wrap and trap something again. Yeah. Just force the CP spent. Yeah, but it's not even that big of a deal, you know. I mean, it's one yeah. unit, but I mean, if one unit can fly out, then that's so you've got to wrap two units a turn. Can that's you right. make it to wrap well, two technically units? Technically, three because of the solar flare as well. Can you make it to touch and wrap three units a turn? Probably not. Probably not. And the problem is, is that there just isn't quite enough guns. And it can perform actions and still shoot with a unit. So you can retrieve Octarius data with one yeah. of your 19 mini, million units of infantry and still shoot. So you're not yeah. losing any effectiveness while scoring points. So It's crazy, isn't it? It's, like you it's said, crazy it's, it's a very defensive army. That's super offensive. Stacked with super offense. Think yeah. about another crazy defense army, such yeah. as Death Guard, for instance. Yeah. T5, we reduce damage. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got all these things. Their crazy offense, which is definitely there, they, they can put out the hits, comes much later in the game where they're in close combat with you. That's yep. the payoff. It keeps everything relatively balanced. Very mm -hmm. defensive, very tough, hard to kill, but they do their damage later on in the game. You've got a little bit of a time to deal with it. 
you don't really have that with this list. And because no. of the way that this list handles the secondaries and writing lists with secondaries in mind is something that everyone should do. Think about how you're going to win the game because it's one on points, not just wiping out your mate's army. Yeah. Manny knows what secondaries he can take with this army to score 100 points almost every game. The RTT he went to with the list you showed earlier on, he lost five points in that entire event. Out of three games, he scored 295 points. Mm -hmm. Those five points were on the primary because it was a hold two, Domination. hold three, hold more, yeah. I think. Uh, and somebody held him to only getting five points in one of his turns twice in a row. Wow. That's it. That's the only reason he lost points in that entire event. Mm. Because he knows the army, he knows the secondaries he can take with it and just go, right, I've won the game. Cool. Thanks very much. Yeah. And in the hands of a skilled player, it's very much a list where you turn up and you go, right, well, I don't have the tools to defeat this. Therefore, I'm going home with a loss. Mm. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I think that's the problem. So if we were to fix this army, as in let's make mm -hmm. it more reasonable, do you think Skitari should be a more defensive army as in by doing that we nerf the offensiveness or do you think they should be more offensive we should nerf the defensiveness i think that it needs to be you you nerf the defensiveness yeah really and make, because what make you've super essentially aggressive. got yeah i mean they always were so that's not really a big loss to anyone that's been historically an admec player mm. you're always a bit of a glass cannon yeah um but i don't think that a unit of infantry if we get into like the fluff of the game which is kind of how i'm balancing this in my head mm -hmm. if you take a space marine a, a regular everyday space marine he should not be easier to kill than one shiny boy yeah um i don't wear you know bionics and everything else that goes on in there and they're mostly machine and, and not metal but you know they a space marine is meant to be this like living embodiment of the emperor and practically yeah. a walking battle tank and all that. And here is one shiny boy that is actually harder to kill at times. And that's mm. not good. So I think you have to balance it that way and take some of that away. It also means that if you want to take this carpet of Skitari, you still can. You just have to be aware that they will die quicker. Yeah. Much like any other carpet horde, think about mm -hmm. mass nurgling spam, mass gaunt yeah. spam. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think I think, that's I think that the the amount of defensive buffs, especially Lucius, I think the amount of defensive mm. buffs they have is too much. They shouldn't be yeah. able to get plus one save and then ignore AP at the same time. Yeah, if they didn't right. get plus one save, ignore an AP on one unit, it'd be fine. But when the entire army gets plus one save already against your anti infantry yeah. weapons, it's a bit like. A bit of a kick in the teeth. Okay. The fact that yeah. they have multiple ways of getting out of combat is kind of annoying. It's manageable, it it's but it's kind of annoying. They're a shooting army that, that has that. Yeah. And so, uh, all right. So sure. I wonder if Solar Flare should have its own um, like caveat where it's like, if you use this to fall out of combat, you can't shoot. Maybe. But that then the, would the Necron equivalent get the same, same caveat? maybe i don't think it needs it they're dead you you can't look at things in a, a vacuum like that like here's no. this one right they're basically the same because the things that go with it are not the yeah same. exactly that then that's the problem so, but they i think they will caveat it the same way if they did do that i think if if they nerfed solar flare to be like yeah. that i think every other equivalent would be nerfed the same way because that's generally how games actually does things when they do have a, like, overlapping rules which are very similar everyone gets the same overlapping rule which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, it is. But that's that's why they brought in data sheets in the first place when we took away from USRs, Universal Special Rules for them that yeah. didn't play seventh. Um, and so they shouldn't, I don't yeah. think. You know, uh, every, every army has some way of re-rolling a one to hit, say. Mm. And if they decided they're going to change that, they'd have to do that very carefully across a range because re-rolling ones to hit with say custodies where you hit on twos is quite powerful it means you're going to hit almost every shot mm -hmm. re-rolling ones to hit with orcs where you hit on fives well who gives a fuck it's nothing you know, yeah it it's nothing. doesn't matter uh so you have to balance all these things differently so i don't think they should make like a blanket change to all relocate mm -hmm. relics um, no i don't i don't think once per game i think is enough yeah the fact that they've got that and fall back and shoot in a different way yeah all right <laughs> it, it is what it is yeah. Maybe they make that once a game well. Mm. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. exactly. Don't say everyone gets the same caveats, Mikey. Salazdeen will laugh in your face. This is very true. 
Very true. <laughs> <laughs> um, even if you nerf the Codex defensiveness, how do you handle nerfing the new Warzone but giving them a 5 plus, five plus, plus invulnerable save and ignore blast? Well, again, that's the problem. They're, yeah. they're getting even more defensiveness. Manny will lose the like two there, units. It, exactly. Is, is you have less, right? Yeah. That's the trade off. It's two points per mini for everything that's Skitari keyword or just Skitari on foot. I don't know. Keyword. I haven't read the book yet. No, me neither. I. Yeah, so I don't have one. Play. I don't have one. <laughs> Maybe I'll get one. I don't know. Neither do one. But if if you if you start removing elements from that list, there will come lists that can start to deal with it. Uh, either they have the damage to ignore the um, plus one to the saves, or they just have crazy AP, um, or they just deal with it in combat, where suddenly they've got damage two weapons because that's just what their army's got, and they mm. just fly through a unit. Yeah, it could happen, um, but I, th I think you need to to target the defensive nature of the admech rather than the offensive nature. I think they're an army that is definitely a shooty army. Don't really have a lot of good close combat threats. They've got some mm -hmm. okay ones. Yeah, nothing sure. crazy. Sure. Uh, so they should be allowed that. Similar to Tai, right? Yeah. Everyone loves to hate Tai, but Tai definitely shoot things. Whereas that's just what they do. They don't do anything. They else. don't do close combatness, yeah. uh, and you've got to bear that in mind when you're you're calculating it yeah exactly because the the game is like um it's like a three-phase game in terms of killing this it's psychic shooting and fighting right and if you're gonna yeah. be really if you're gonna gonna be good at them all like space marines for example or okay mm -hmm. at them all then you're okay yeah. at them all but when you're not interacting with two of them you've got to be hyper efficient in the other one and that's why tower are super stupid to shoot it and that's why people don't like them it's because they're obnoxious again even if with with the way they are in the minute they're obnoxious Sorry, in the in the one phase which is usually the most damaging shooting phase is usually the most damaging in this game yeah. and tower super damaging in that phase you know yeah. but maybe skitar and they were hard to hold on to as well remember all their stuff had flight you touch it and all right cool doesn't matter yeah exactly and they just carry on doing it but now like Adamek are very much in that same position but they have more defensiveness than mm -hmm. Tau. They don't go down, is it? Like Tower of Drones, but drones die. Tower of Drones. Drones do die. Dr drones are easy to kill. That's why you have a lot of terrain that they hide behind. And the feels bad of, I've had to shoot your Riptide and all I've done is kill two drones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you get that. Like Gumbleeding said it right, though. Even if we don't, we are looking at the defensiveness. Stuff like Enriched Rounds should have like either mm -hmm. a, just an increase in CP or it should be an increase depending on size. For example, yeah. a unit of five. Um, is one CP, you know, 10 is TCP, more than 10 is 3 CP. What do you think on changing the unit size of Vanguard and Rangers to 10? That just actually just capping them at 10. Yeah. Hmm. So they used to be, right? I'm sure they used to be unit size 10 and they became know. 20. A lot really. of things have changed to 20. So sisters have, hmm. um, all the heretic space marines have. Yeah. Um, space marines have remained, why... at, remained at 10. Yeah, yeah. Sense. Why, why not go? Tell you what, I'd make it's very hard to balance because we had to make your stratagems too expensive. Yeah, yeah. Or you have less. Um, now, if you make stratagems too expensive, it means that they can do it less. So, um, ah, crap. What's the house Raven Knight one? Something of friends or whatever it's called. Uh, companions, order of companions, order of companions. That's it. There you go. Something of friends. <laughs> Um, order of companions Buddies. went up to three CP. We could reroll all of the dice roll that were a one, and yeah. that made sense. But as soon as it went to three CP, you're like, well, you can do this literally once a game if you're going to be able to use things like rotate iron shields and so yeah. on. Yeah, especially it. when the game was as it was with CP, which is very yeah, limited. definitely. Uh, so having something like that where it, it prices it out from being used every turn, I think, isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the right answer. I don't think the right answer is always as clear cut as make this more expensive. No, Sometimes I think it's always it like a, a plaster to fix a bigger issue. And the problem yeah. is, is that you have blobs of units which are really good at doing stuff. And when mm -hmm. you have a big blob of units, then um, you essentially allow stratagem to, be, stratagem to be more efficient. And that's why usually yeah. they have a, a banded cost. If it's this, it's this much. If it's this, mm -hmm. it's this much. And interestingly, in which I, I think yeah, which I don't think I don't know how much you know about. However, in Age of Sigma, command abilities are kind of like character given out stratagems. They're kind of very similar way. You okay. choose a unit, you give an ability. In Age of Sigma now, so command phase thing. Yeah, 
Kind of, yeah. A lot of them have like specific phase, but they essentially you choose a unit that get unit gains an ability. It's not usually like units within a range. It's one unit within a range. Now that what they've done is in 2000 points, you can only reinforce or essentially buy more than the starting size. Um, <laughs> where was that? Age of Sigma. So reinforcement is essentially when you take mm -hmm. a unit that is 10, starts at 10 and you buff it to 20 right. that's what they call reinforcement you can actually only okay. do that a maximum of four times in a 2000 point game so you can only take you can only increase the size four times okay and infantry squads like your troops essentially your battle line units can do it up to twice every other unit is up to once but you have a maximum of four across the army wow okay so that is a massive list building restriction, which actually fixes the problem we see in today, where you have a stratagem which buffs a humongous unit, right? Yeah. Because you just take as many as you can. Whereas in Age Sigma, you can do that, but you can max do it twice on two units. Then you so w with this list, then the, one of the things that that would change is, is is Manny obviously very cleverly puts buffs on things to make you want to kill those, but not be able to kill those because they're on an objective. They're in the way, you know. They're going to mm -hmm. kill your other unit that you need to keep. But he'll put those units in places, but they won't be his while we stand we fight unit choices. Now yeah. he can get away with that because he has what seven units of troops that are all the same points cost so they're all eligible for why we stand we fight mm. and they'll probably be off the board for quite a long time as soon as you do that if you did change the number of units that you could have that were large that changes the win condition of to the last sorry we should call it now uh because those two big units that he wants to put in harm's way to deal with the damage to get the most efficiency out of those stratagems mm. are suddenly well, I can units. put this out, but you can kill my unit now and stop me mm. getting five victory points. Yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. As Gumbly has said, a it's a very different way to build lists because you don't really have limits. Yeah. You don't really have limits like you're doing detachments. You essentially build your list, then put it into detachments, and it doesn't have to be a detachment. It's very, very different. But I yeah. see that as I see that change as a way that where they have problems, where they were going, okay. The people are taking units of 40 when it starts at unit of mm -hmm. 10 and they're buffing it with all of command abilities or relentless discipline yeah. abilities, which is re what I'm really referring to. And I'm casting psychic powers on that unit and I'm doing this mm -hmm. and it's basically a, death star. a mini Death Star. Yeah, so it's a little monster of a unit, which is like a, just a basic troop unit that just, it's all right. Yeah. And then you just give it like 19 buffs and it's like horrendous and there's 40 of them and you can't kill it and it kills loads. Which is essentially mm -hmm. what we're seeing. It's like, yes, there would be have to be a fundamental change to the game if they did bring in something like that. But also, yeah. that's a very real fix in what I might in what I see from Age of Sigma. I maybe thought, okay, could take some ideas from it. Yeah. Maybe the squads are getting too big. Maybe we need to promote MSU. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Yes. There's yeah. no different ways you can fix it. But in the comment section, by all means, put down your suggested fix because you're mm. on the internet and therefore you have an opinion. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We love hearing those opinions sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's 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 weird, that's for sure. Every, the, we can't just say, oh, yeah, let's bring in that rule for, for 40K. It won't work. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. But that is an example of them saying, hey, we've, we're kind of fed up of these big fat units being taken. For example, yeah. I was running 90 plague bearers, right? I was running three units of 30, which is not an uncommon yes. list in 40k. But I, I was running I that in Ages... <laughs> But I was running that in uh, in a Sigma <laughs> because whilst they're big and fat units, they get buffs, right? And the buff retains longer. It's actually you got to be more than 20 for as long as possible. Yeah. But also they just don't die. But now I can't actually run that list. I can run two units of 30, and then I can't reinforce any other unit in the army. So I have to run essentially mm. minimum size squads. Because you can only do it four times. So it really changes how you build lists. But also, yeah, when you've got command abilities or psychic powers, which are like, hey, you over there, uh, you now do more wounds on a six to hit and you re-roll mm -hmm. hits. I can only do that to two of the big units. I can't do it to every unit, you know? And yeah. as soon as those two yeah, big yeah. units die, those abilities are super, like way less efficient than they were. Mm -hmm. Could be, which is interesting. Could be it's an interesting, and maybe that's maybe that's what the problem with this list is. Maybe it's because it's got too many buffs to give out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, the carpet, the carpet lives on. No, the carpet lives Definitely on. Not. Lives another day. Uh, maybe I'll get an emergency FAQ. Hopefully before it sells some five. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see.
We'll see. Ha- I thought we get FAQ, bro. It's gonna stay. No. That's the thing, right? We just had the FAQ and it it changed nothing. It was some questions, right? What we need is and that was it. A depth of content. Some errata next week, right? And then Games Workshop be like, yeah, if someone can we, Harris Crevice cons- on stream again, <laughs> right? We can have considered this army to be broken. Also, there's a tournament next week that we're heavily involved with. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. That's what we need. Um. <laughs> But yeah, it's interesting. Weird list. Weird list. Let me know what you think down in the comments.